Hi, my name is Ellie Finch. I'm a child and parent counsellor and a consultant and trainer in using Minecraft in counselling. I use Minecraft with many of the children I work with and have found it to be a great way to engage children in counselling. I'm going to give you a tour of my Minecraft island so that you can find out more about how I work with children in the game. So here is an island that I um, have found works quite well to create a boundary um, space for a child to work in a Minecraft because Minecraft is absolutely enormous, it's huge, it's pretty much infinite and so having a space that feels a bit more contained can be helpful. Um, and I just want to show you, start off by showing you me. So here I am. This is my avatar, my character, my skin as it's called in Minecraft um, and I've, you can see it's got short hair and, and looks a bit like me. Um, and so your your kid will have a, 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 a character like this that they come into Minecraft um, with me and that in itself how they, they choose to create their, their outfit will say something about themselves um, and we can explore that together and um, they'll join me in this world and, and each child that I work with has their own individual world. No one else goes into it apart from me and them. And um, uh, I save it and keep it safe and so they only access it for their session. They're not inviting friends to it. Um, it's a private space for them to explore what's going on for them um, in a safe um, and contained way. Um, so the first thing that I, I do when a child comes into their Minecraft world in their first session is I say, well, let's, how about you create a safe place um, to, to, to come back to whenever you need to in Minecraft. Um, so they will find a, a place where they want to build this safe place. Um, and then start making it and they may or may not want me to help them and if they do want me to help then I take very strict instructions <laughs> from them uh, and do what they want me to do because this is their world and it's important that they're in charge of it. Now the, all the examples that I'm going to show you in this um, world are ones that I've made up, they're not real client material, obviously that would be breaking their confidentiality so what I've done is created um, the sort of things that can kind of be, be come up in Minecraft and that can be created by by the children that I work with so I will take the coordinates of their safe place so we can always come back to their safe place um, if they're feeling worried or got lost and um, we can teleport back even um, together to here and and often we'll come back here at the end of a session just to sort of be somewhere specific to leave and wherever we are when we leave is where we come back to for the next session okay so moving on from that I often in a first session I'll also ask a child to create a family tree now it's a family tree with a bit of a difference and this activity is based on an activity that counsellors often use with buttons or stones in real life to um, encourage a client to talk about their family relationships, their close relationships and and it's about what buttons they choose for each person in their life, what what um, where they position them on a, on a page. So in Minecraft I've adapted this to uh, using blocks and trees. Now this is an example that I've created um, of uh, a, a client's um, family um, and as you can see they, they put signs on them so that, that you know who they are and why they've chosen those, that particular block and they can choose blocks from their inventory in here uh, I'll just show you, I've got torch written in the search bar but if I take that away you can see all the different kind of blocks, there's countless blocks and a child might choose um, uh, one because of the colour or because they know what kind of use it has in Minecraft and it uh, can be um, completely up to them and so here you can see the child's chosen a crying obsidian block for themselves and obsidian's a really strong um, block in Minecraft but crying kind of gives you the idea of someone who can get upset as well so they've put me I'm strong but I can get upset you can see on the sign there and then for dad they've chosen if you can see around here 
they've chosen this kind of see-through block and they've described that as being see-through and um, uh, emotional you sort of always know always knowing what emotions dad's got and here They've chosen one for their sister, and sister is very boring, and and they're sort of dressed up pink and and girly, and using makeup, and interested in boys, and very boring to my client, <laughs> or my imaginary client here. And and here is mum. Um, mum's really strong. She's obsidian, so not crying obsidian like my like the child, but a uh, strong obsidian. But she's not she's not emotional. And and my clients put her over here because she, um, they only see her at um, every other weekend so that you know they're further away and and what can happen with this is that this family tree can sit in their world and they can return to it and as relationships change they can move the blocks around or change the blocks or change the signs and um, it can be really helpful for discussions and even the tree that they choose to put their their family tree on can be interesting itself so this one for example is in a sort of um sort of more sort of dry area compared to say sort of this tree here which is a lot more sort of lively and and green and and so that in itself can can help me to create a discussion with a child about what's going on for them in their life now over here is another activity that i often do with children and often kids will describe something that's happened to them, maybe something in this example that's made up, but but is gives a good indication of what can come up in a session. Is um, this is a big brother uh, represented by this figure here with the big dragon head? The big brother's really being mean to them, and here they are down here in this in this sort of pit. Um, feeling very vulnerable, it's almost like na naked, not having any armour to, to, to protect them, no sword like their big brother has, and kind of, you can change the postures of these armour stands so that they represent how they're feeling, and up here there's this dragon-headed big brother with a sword, and and you can start talking about who might be able to, you know, because this child's saying, I'm, I feel scared, nobody is helping me, so who might be able to help you, and, and they've might think of say maybe dad might be able to come in with their shield and tell them both to go to their room and we could explore whether that helps what what's what's happening in their in this situation that could be um potentially you could look at it from different people's point of view you can um uh find alternatives to what's happened maybe for the future um start practicing those alternatives so these these um scenes can be really helpful to show me what's going on in a child's world and for them to explore it themselves um sometimes um they keep these scenes in their world sometimes they they break them down they they've resolved what's been going on they don't want them in their world anymore and we sort of contract around that we can make a decision around that together now I'm going to take you on a tour of this island now and there's no better way to get around an island than by a roller coaster. Now kids love making roller coasters in Minecraft and they can be a great way of because they can be quite frustrating to make they can t they can take time they can, you can get them wrong before you get them right and that's a great way of exploring with a child you know those kind of frustrations and how to kind of manage those and off we go so here you can see the big vast ocean and we're coming down we're going past a village now villages uh kind of crop up in minecraft here and there and villagers are natural occupants of Minecraft, like the pigs and the cows and, and whatnot. Here we are going to a massive ravine in the middle of the mountain. Um, and how a child interacts with villagers can be can be really interesting and, and it can change over time. Um, but they might come across a villager and be in a bad mood and um, have a go at it. Or um, they might um, try and save a villager if they're stuck in some water. Um, and you can help sort of talk about that talk about what sort of brought them to that way of interacting with the villager. Um, villagers also have chests with lots of goodies in. Now we've entered a cave. Here we are. Now here we are in a 
dark cave which can bring up feelings for kids um, you know they might want to stay with me in in the cave they might want to check that I'm with them or they'd be worried about me um, so it can be dark if you don't have torches and and here are some monsters you have the option of turning off monsters in, in Minecraft um, and I just I've included them in this video so you can see um, what they look like. Here's a, here's a zombie. It's quite a, a rare zombie over there with some armor on, a spider and a skeleton. Now, I'm going to arm myself. Oh, one of them saw the spiders come over here. Hello, spider. Ooh, very close. I'm going to arm myself with a sword. And I am going to show you the, the sort of level of violence in Minecraft. So Minecraft is rated seven years up um, and so um, the violence is seen as, as suitable for seven years up um, and I'll just show you. Uh, ooh, ooh, you hear that noise of the zombie. Okay now this is what happens when you they glow red and there's a little ting and that's what happens when you kill a zombie and a skeleton but killing monsters can be a great way of talking about anger frustration getting out feelings now I'm gonna I'm just gonna put my sword away and I'm going to go up this ladder through this door and out closing the door behind me, which is good Minecraft etiquette, out into the sea and go for a lovely swim. You can see my little character in the top left corner is having a lovely swim there. And um, this can be quite a mindful um, exercise really. You can swim with fish, sometimes you might come across some dolphins. You can either, if you're lucky, you might find a sh shipwreck with um, a map for, to find some treasure and you might find a ruined underwater monument um, jellyfish but it can be quite a, a lovely place to be the sea here we are I hope you enjoyed this tour of my Minecraft island if you're a parent and you think counselling using Minecraft might work for your child you can find out more about my service on my website elliefinch.co.uk and if you are a professional or an organisation interested in using Minecraft with your clients take a look at my website for details of my training and consultancy services thank you for watching